Hi guys, so last week you gave me loads of questions for my Q&A and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to answer all of them, however I will try to answer as many as I possibly can. So the first question is, have you ever wanted to be an animator and the answer is actually yes I have. I have wanted to work for an animation studio for as long as I can remember and I think this is something to do with the fact that growing up my favourite films have always been animated films like Shrek or The Incredibles and I'm actually planning to go to university next year to study 2D or 3D animation and hopefully I'll get into one because I would love to do that. The next question is how long does it take to make one drawing in a video and this depends entirely on what kind of drawing I'm doing. If I'm doing a fully rendered type painterly digital art piece that will normally take me about three to four hours and that isn't factoring editing time and everything else like recording my commentary. This all adds up to about I don't know, about eight hours of work, so it is quite a lot of effort to put in to make my videos and hard to fit around schoolwork. The next question comes from Failed Artist and she asks, who's your favourite small YouTuber under 1k? And this is a really difficult question for me to answer because there's so many small YouTubers who I really like and I think should have way more recognition. So I don't really necessarily have a favourite, I know that's such an annoying answer but I really don't want to pick one person because I don't want to make anyone feel bad or anything. And there's also loads of new small YouTubers popping up all the time who are really good and that I always subscribe to when I find new channels. And my favourite YouTuber in general is probably Pyrocynical, but I'm not sure if many of the people who watch my videos would enjoy his kind of videos because it's very, very different from the kind of stuff I make. <laughs> and also, the last question is how do you find inspiration? I find a lot of my inspiration through uh, comments from you guys because you always suggest like really cool things for me to do. I should take more advice to be honest. I had someone say draw more guys and yes I need to draw more guys. I keep saying that. I will do it. I promise you guys. The next question is what's your favourite piece of clothing and I'd have to say two different things. One of them is like an off the shoulder really nice shirt that I normally tend to wear for if I'm going out in the evenings and I also own this really really nice dress and it's like a black dress but it has some like white detailing at the bottom and that's another one of my favourite pieces of clothing. The next question is will you ever draw your fans OCs or just your fans in general and the answer to this is yes I would love to draw you guys and I'd also love to draw your OCs that's something I've never even considered before but I think that would be really really fun so I think I'll probably set up like an email specifically for the series and then get you guys to send in emails but I know it'll be so so hard to pick out any specific OCs or any pictures of you guys because it was really hard to pick out questions for this q and A. I really struggled to narrow things down like that but yeah I'll let you know with more information closer to the time when I want to start that series. The next question is what do you recommend for new artists? I found that I can only draw certain things well. I would like to expand my drawing skills to be able to draw anything well. Now you guys know how I feel about drawing lots of different things you know I stick to the same kind of thing a lot and I have said for the longest time I'm trying to get out of it and I know that's not really very evident in my videos but in my sketchbooks I've been trying to do lots of drawings of different things so I for one don't really enjoy drawing animals because I find it difficult and I also don't enjoy drawing guys because I also find that difficult so I've been practicing doing that a lot and the biggest biggest piece of advice I can give for you in art or anything to do with getting better at anything really is practice and I know that's really it sounds really cliche and you hear it a lot but I think draw, doing the draw this again videos helped me realize that over time if you keep practicing drawing things then you will be able to draw them well. So if you are drawing as many different things as you possibly can, like, I don't know, draw a leaf, draw a building, something, just draw what you see around you and draw it all of the time. And I guarantee you that with lots and lots and lots of practice, you will be able to draw anything well. And I think if you're a beginner artist, you're in the best possible position to do this. Because as someone who's been drawing for about, seriously, for about 10 years, I would say that 
I have become very regimented in drawing the same kind of thing over and over and over again and I think once you're stuck in a cycle it's really hard to break out of it. So if you're a beginner artist it's so much easier to try and draw everything from an early stage because then you're going to get better and used to drawing in that variety whereas I think for me personally it's been very difficult to try and break out of it but that is my biggest piece of advice to you practice and try and draw lots and lots of different things because even though you might see the drawings and you think oh this didn't turn out very well keep drawing them and I promise you they will also try and get feedback from other people because that's really important because normally they can point out things that you didn't even realize was wrong with it yourself so if you have like an anatomy issue then someone else might be able to point that out and it would be really helpful <laughs>